It's the ways that the food oh God, industry is poisoning us all. Wood chips in your food. They disguise it as cellulose. Or I'm so annoyed that this creator is spreading this nonsense. This person has 17 and a half million followers. I'm pretty sure she claims to have a STEM background as well. I'm not entirely sure about that, but God, this is so ridiculous. Why do we have to spread this nonsense just for attention? I've covered this cellulose thing so many times. Cellulose is the main component in plant cell walls. Yes, cellulose can be derived from wood. Trees are large plants. Therefore, wood contains cellulose. The cellulose that can be derived from wood is the same exact cellulose in your celery, your apples, all the fruits and vegetables that you eat. It's, it's a fiber component. Um, so that's like saying that there is celery in your food and it's poisoning you if the celery or if the cellulose were to come from celery. That doesn't mean that it is celery. That also doesn't mean that it is poisoning you either. So let's remember the main argument she's making here is that the food industry is poisoning you. Cellulose in your food is not poisoning you. If that were the case, pretty much every single fruit and vegetable you'd be eating would be poisoning you because obviously it's going to have much more cellulose than a food where cellulose is added to it. It's used in many applications as an anti-caking agent. I've talked about it in shredded cheese. Basically just puts a coating on there so the pieces of the shredded cheese don't stick together. Um, typically it's going to be in foods at a very low percentage, but even if it's not, it's literally just fiber, the same fiber that's in fruits and vegetables. Squeeze store-bought orange juice is old. They have these big tanks where they can store the juice for about a year, but towards the end of the year, it's lost most of its nutritional value and a lot of its flavor. So companies like Calvin Klein are paid to add a fragrance. You're drinking perfect. All right, so yes, orange juice can be stored in tanks. Obviously, um, if this weren't the case, we would be either not producing very much orange juice or we would be wasting a lot of orange juice. If you understand how growing seasons work and things like that, Yes, the demand for orange juice requires it to be stored. Does that mean that it doesn't have any nutritional value uh, when you're getting that orange juice? Absolutely not. So in those holding tanks, oxygen is actually eliminated so that the nutrients stay intact, it stays fresher for longer, and it doesn't oxidize. Therefore, it can stay in those tanks for up to a year without any negative effects. Flavors can diminish, so yes, they can add back flavors. The flavors that are added back to orange juice are made up of the same exact chemical compounds that are naturally present in oranges. Flavors and fragrances are very similar, so yes, sometimes they're the same suppliers. That doesn't mean you're drinking perfume or that it's poisoning you.